Hello and welcome to PMCLounge.com. This is Lounge Fever, a series of videos that are dedicated to your questions. So if you have any question, drop them in the comment. We'll definitely get back to you. And if the question is helpful enough for other folks as well, we'll create a dedicated video on that question just like this one. So question today pertains to the estimate activity resource process that we recently discussed. And the question is about external contractors and the external consultants that you may hire for your project, right? So if you are hiring an external contractor, right, or let's say an external consultant, does the estimate activity process apply, estimate activity resource process apply to them or not? It does because external contractors, external consultants, they are also your project resource. So if you are making use of, if you are hiring external contractors, you have to treat them just like you would treat the resource in your project. So you have to estimate the activity uh, resource process that has to be applicable to external consultants and external contractors as well. Now, why this question? This question came about because if you are hiring an external consultant, you have to select a vendor who is going to provide that consultant. You may have to negotiate the contract as well because this resource is not part of your organization, your company, right? So your company has to sign a contract with the other company or with the other consultant himself or herself and get them on board for your project. So your estimate activity resource process, how, much, how many hours do you need from them? You definitely have to do that process. That process is applicable to them, but negotiating the contract, selecting the vendor, that is not part of this process, the estimate activity resource process. That is part of a separate knowledge area altogether. That knowledge area is known as procurement management knowledge area. So that is a separate knowledge area, but this process is definitely applicable to external contractors, external consultants, any external resource that you need for your project. So that's all that I had in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned uh, the difference between internal resources and external resources and how this process is applicable to them as well. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you haven't done so already. Check us out on our social media. PMC Lounge is our handle on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you and have a nice day.